This is a presentation by Cameron Kilgore, Randy Miller, and Stephen Sutton for the Stanford University Technology Entrepreneurship course. This project is a reimagining of an idea for providing solar power to Saudi Arabia. The original project specified a cost-ineffective photovoltaic system, whereas we've designed a more cost-effective system to suit the specific needs of arid climates. Often the first technology to spring to mind when it comes to renewable solar energy is photovoltaics. Photovoltaics are a highly publicized technology, mainly because the electricity that they generate is ideal to replace dirtier fuels like coal. In fact, many expensive photovoltaic fields have been implemented recently with some success. Unfortunately, this technology just isn't cost effective in competing with renewable or coal fuel without the supporting grants and infrastructure. Photovoltaics, especially when supported by grants, work okay on the small scale, but still require lots of supporting infrastructure. Unfortunately, these problems worsen as the scale increases. Solar power is only available at certain times of day, and the technology is lacking to effectively store that energy, or transport it without huge losses. Photovoltaic panels are composed of expensive and rare materials, but their cost extends beyond that. Installation is expensive, and so is all the supporting infrastructure for converting the power and storing it. For industrial scale implementation, other supporting infrastructure is required in order to bring the power to the grid. Finally, the most available photovoltaic resources are often far from cities. Therefore, extra transportation costs in terms of the loss of electricity and the expensiveness of wires to transport it are added to the initial baseline cost of the photovoltaic systems. A potentially more viable use of solar power is in the form of solar thermal systems. These include rooftop solar hot water heaters and even fields of parabolic mirrors that reach very high temperatures. Often these are used to generate electricity as well, but there is an alternative. Desalination is the process of converting salt water into drinking water, and it's a complex problem in arid climates. Often reverse osmosis or flash evaporation are used, which require expensive membranes and lots of equipment. An unfortunate byproduct of these huge facilities is the very salty waste water, which is dumped back into the water, damaging the environment and fisheries. Could solar thermal energy be used to aid in desalination? Are we throwing valuable resources away by pumping out waste brine? We believe so. There are ways to use solar energy for desalination while actually generating electricity at the same time. With this, we could create a desalination plant that effectively powers itself. The brine product that's the result of this process could be further refined using evaporators so that salts and rare materials like lithium can be extracted from them. These evaporators can function in greenhouse projects, like the Sahara Forest Project, where the waste heat from desalination powers evaporators, and evaporative cooling provides cool, humid air to greenhouses. This also reduces the water need for greenhouse agriculture, which can feed off the plant. Using renewable technology effectively requires creativity, imagination, and the ability to see how waste can become a resource and drive other processes. By bringing these ideas to the Middle East, we can help to develop emerging markets in a sustainable and cost-effective way. We look forward to further refining this technology, first with small-scale testing, and then in the form of large-scale implementation. Thank you.